So this wasn't planned. I didn't really anticipate this, but here we go. Together. I got my dad here he's helping me out um, but so far I really like it the I don't like how shallow this is um, it's pretty shallow but I do like that this screen top is much sturdier screen so like hanging the heat panel would be nice from it I have been collecting supplies over the last few weeks and yeah look at my bathtub All right, so we're planning on putting like a water feature back here. Because this is so shallow, we're gonna have to do something else. Maybe put some foam on the back. Um, then have a little bit of a drainage layer at the bottom, radiant heat panel at the top. And uh, yeah, I've got something in my mind, but stay tuned. All right, so here I'm gonna use uh, this like Elmer's foam board and I'm gonna use this for the waterfall. Here's the idea is that the, that the egg crate here will distribute the weights of the stones. And then we have a pump here that will be covered up um, and it will pump up water and it will fall back down. And it'll just be cycled through. I have this egg crate which will distribute the weight of the rocks and this is siliconed around to the glass bottom and then hopefully it will hold water. I don't recommend going above this line. I really did think this was deeper. So this will be continued tomorrow. Now to test for water resistance. Oh, my finger's freaking crossed. <laughs> So for the background, I have siliconed the background, so that way the foam will stick to it a little bit better than just the glass. So after the silicone dries, you have to, you know, pour some water in it, and then check if it leaked, and then siphon it out, and then pour water in it again, and see if there's another leak. But anyway, I've done that process a couple times now, done extra siliconing, and then added the foam. So 
So what do I even mean when I say that this was the unexpected or unplanned for vivarium? So I built my first vivarium, this one right here for Lola. Lola is my Brazilian rainbow boa, but I always knew I wanted a second enclosure. See, but here's the thing. Lola is outgrowing this enclosure. She is approaching two years old, and don't get me wrong, I love this enclosure, but she needs a new one. And that was the next one I thought I'd build. But I've been wanting a new snake. So enter two more enclosures? See, this is my dilemma. So behind this enclosure here is a big crack. I tried drilling in the back of the glass way too late. I tried doing it after the entire thing was complete and it didn't go so well. She is heavy. <laughs> There we go. And it broke. Now you might be thinking, Travis, why did you try to drill in the glass of an enclosure? Well, here's the thing. I had this vivarium set up for about two months at this point, and Lola was to arrive the next day. I realized that water was building up in the bottom. Brazilian rainbow boas need a stupid amount of humidity, and the misters were going off, the fogger was going off. There's a lot of humidity in there, a lot of water. So remember in my video of the build of my current vivarium, I said I would still do a drainage layer if I had to do it again? That's the reason why. Now all of that is to say that once Lola outgrew this current vivarium, the plan was to get a second snake and put it in Lola's first cage. Lola was to get the upgrade. But now I feel like I just have to scrap that tank. Strip it for parts, aka plants, and just kind of um, toss out the enclosure because it's got a massive crack on it. That kind of put getting a new snake on the back burner for just a little bit. So I gotta say, I think I bit off more than I could chew with this water feature. Um, in hindsight, there are a couple other ways that might have worked better um, that I'll definitely implement next time. For instance, like putting a glass container or a Tupperware kind of inside the vivarium um, and that be the water feature, then just kind of foam around that. Uh, but there's another way. This is kind of like my backup way because I am getting leaks, even after the siliconing and re-siliconing and then foaming over on top of that. They're very subtle, like it's like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and you'll see just the smallest of puddles, but given time, obviously the whole thing would leak, so I think I have another solution. My good friend and roommate Lucy actually thought of this one. Good morning, um, it's the next day. So far so good. I foamed around the edges, I double bagged it. Lucy and I kind of got the idea from how ponds will use a tarp. Like if you do a little pond in your backyard for fish or whatever, a lot of times they'll use a tarp. I will say if you plan on doing this, be extra sure that your tarp or your bags does not have like pesticides built in because that is like a real thing with some of these bags. They'll put like pesticides in it to keep bugs out of your garbage, I guess. But I'm hoping this will work out right.
So I still need to build Lola's new cage because this enclosure really isn't that much bigger than the one she has right now. I'm probably going to build a full size one for Lola later this year. But that brings us back to this cage being the unplanned for one. Now I have a new enclosure for the new snake. And I have been debating between three, but I've settled on one. The first option was a carpet python. I really like their patterns. I love the way they look. I love how they're semi-arboreal and they climb everywhere. I was also looking at a boa constrictor, just a regular boa constrictor. And my third option was a super dwarf reticulated python. It's a very tough choice. They're all medium-ish sized, intermediately cared for snakes. What do you think I went with? next day and I am going to silicone this background and cover it with I've got Josh's Frogs Coco Select that will be part of what covers that background and then I also have a bunch of um, kind of like pebble stones in there um, and that'll be good for the water feature here up here I have a pipe, that pipe for the pump. And this is the power cord for the pump, which goes all the way down here. You can see it right under here. I could replace it, service it when I need to. Um, this is just like Matala mat um, that you can easily find on Amazon or cut. And I could take out that whole pump when I need to and just kind of string the cord through that background. And then over here, I have another pipe that leads down to here. And I have that on both sides. It's the hole and it leads down on this side to right here. And those will be temperature and humidity probes. This side in particular will be the thermostat for the heater. Um, and that's worked so far in the past. That way you can kind of hide the ugly cables and cords. The new enclosure is moved to the living room. It's right next to the old one. You can actually see Lola's peeking her head out of the leaves. She's like, what's going on? But anyway, um, so now it's time for the fun part. It's time for substrate and planting, putting the misters up, the heater and the lights. We have terra firma from the bio dude as well as some leaf litter and magnolia leaf litter and sphagnum moss. We have some botanicals and seed pods as well as some isopods and then some plants, of course. For heat, we have a radiant heat panel, 40 watts, hooked up to a thermostat. Always use a thermostat with a heater that has the ability to get hotter than the desired temperature. Um, we have like 
a power strip here that's programmable for day and night, specifically for reptiles, so that's great. This is UVB, it's only like 3%. And then we have two temp and humidity gauges. So, well, let's get planting. finished it and I freaking love it looks fantastic it took eight days to make between applying and drying and applying and drying but I think it's worth the wait and all the work so yeah, here's to the new inhabitant that is not yet here, but I'm on a waiting list right now and I'm eagerly awaiting this new snake. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see what I get, because I'll definitely be posting a snake unboxing. And tell me your guesses of what you think I might have gotten in the comments. Laters. Peace.